go. Okay, guys, what's up? This is Dave from PwC Brackets. So we had a little challenge. Somebody has the JBL. So uh, JBL Charge 5. This is going to be definitely the nicer of the different JBLs. Uh, we put up our little testing station. Basically what we have here is we have a meter that reads decibel levels. And then what we're going to do is we're going to play the song, get into it for a few seconds, and then I'm going to press the max button. What the max button does is it reads maximum volume. So I'll show you an example. So right now we're talking, it's jumping around. I press the max button and A, and it holds the maximum volume. So it's not gonna record everything underneath. It's only gonna record A, maximum volume. So that's what it did. You saw it just jump up and it hold it. So we're gonna read maximum volume of our speakers. Um, I will admit this JBL actually does sound really nice. Um, it sounds full, it sounds nice. Uh, is it $180 worth? We're gonna find out. Um, you know, guys, I don't care if you guys buy my speaker from me, I just want you to understand that. We do this as uh, we're trying to make it better and we love it when people come up with something like this. So it's just gonna make me work harder to make a better, much louder speaker. Remember, my speakers are evenly priced. Actually, every single one of my speakers that you see here are lower priced than this particular speaker that I paid for myself. Just want you to know that. Also, I'm a small business. My speakers aren't bad. I'm just a small business, okay, guys? So when you deal with me, you deal with me. When you deal with JBL, good luck. Anyway, we're going to go with that. We're going to start the song. We're playing our song that we own, so we have no problem with copyrights. We're going to start this over right here. We're going to take it off max. We're going to let it play for a second because there's a whistle in here that's really loud, and it's kind of unfair because the whistle is just real loud. So we want to see what it actually sounds like playing volume. Also, we've made the distance about two and a half feet. This is typically where it's sitting down on the jet ski and we're outside. We did that on purpose because we want you to see what it sounds like outside. Um, and this is just kind of, this is not the end all end all, but this will at least give you an idea of what we're looking at. So we're going to go ahead and get this song started and uh, we'll see what happens. No, I ain't playing her fast, so her interface is too pretty. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you ever meet that girl? She's just so ugly. She's fucking. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking like just face like whoa. You know, she's look like Skeletor. I'm gonna do it like this. Yeah. She ain't Ten times I'll be over weight, no hair, and a big forehead. She looks so yellow, just like cornbread. Damn, come on, what you saying? Girl, it's ugly, and no, I ain't flying her fast, so hairy in her face. All right, looks like we've maxed out at 100.2 for the JBL. 100.2. All right, now we're going to bring up the Soundwave 1. Good job, JBL. A nice, clean speaker. Doesn't look bad at all. We like it. So now we're going to bring up the Soundwave 1 and see what it does. This is a 60 watt speaker that we make. Uh, it has three different settings on there. We're going to put it on just, I'm not going to really change the settings too much. Uh, they change the bass and the vocals. Right now I have it set on the one that has a little bit more vocal, which is the one that most of my customers use. And uh, we're going to line it up and see what it does. All right. I'm going to connect to it first. Sorry guys. Turn it down. Hold on guys. There we go. Looks like we hit 101.2. Whoops. Looks like we hit 101.2 on the uh, Soundwave 1. 
All right. 101.2, so JBL lost to that one. Let's see what the 50 watt does. And she turned the other one off too. Yep, that's one off, so off. Double connection. Okay. All right. Make sure we got this other one connected. Okay. All right. Now my customer has this speaker, okay? And he said that his speaker was way louder than my speaker. So we're gonna test it just to see. It may be louder, um, uh, but we're gonna find out here in about two seconds. All right, so here's the sound wave and we have it turned on. Line it up. All right, here we go. Yeah, I'll start the thing over here. Yeah. I'm going to start the uh, meter over. Mm -hmm. Okay. So ugly as fuck. I'm talking like this face. You know, she's going like Skeletor. That's what it's like. We're going to do it like this. She's a rock. She ain't got no analog. She's a Okay, so we got 102.9. Okay. All right. So remember, guys, he said that this speaker was way louder than my speaker, and mine was almost one more than one decibel louder. Just saying, we're going to continue forward. All right. And I want you guys to understand that I will admit the JBL, it has a dip, they all have different sounds, guys. So everybody has the way they're here. We all hear different frequencies better, but I don't want you to think the JBL sounds bad. But when you're talking about max volume, it's been beat by all of my speakers so far. Just saying. Doesn't sound bad. Just And these have different EQ settings. So, you know, some of them have more vocals. Some of them have more bass. There's no real right or wrong here. But I do want you to understand that it still has been beaten. All right. So this is the other 60-watt speaker that we carry. Um, so we're going to see what this one does here. That's 100.7. I want to try something real quick. I noticed that I had it on the wrong EQ setting. I'm going to try this just real quick. I'm not going to change it. Didn't do anything different. Just wanted to see if we had a different EQ setting, if it's going to give us a little bit more volume. You ever be that girl? She just so ugly. She's fucking. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking like this. Face like, whoa. You know, she's a little like Skeletor. That's what it's something. I'm going to do it like this. Okay, guys, so this is what we're looking at right now. I'll put them in order so you can kind of see. 
So this is the JBO. This is the Soundwave original one. This is the Soundwave 2.0, and this is the new Soundwave. So basically what I want you to see here, JBL loses Soundwave 1.0 wins. Uh, Soundwave 2.0 wins. This one's louder on the mids and highs. I will tell you that. It has more of a crisp, it's a little bit higher sounding. Uh, between these two, it's a little, they, they both sound good. This one just has a little bit more punt, like a little bit more volume to it. Uh, meaning that to me, it just has a little bit more fullness sound. The JBL does have a full sound to it, but when we're talking about max volume, it doesn't win. Um, the JBL, this one here, the new 60 watt, is gonna be very similar to both. It's a mix between these two. Um, it's loud and the reason why we actually went with this one is even though we're only one decibel lower uh than either one of these or two decibel lowers than this one is when we double up on this it's a whole nother nightmare so you put two of these speakers we're going to do a test on two speakers we're just not trying to do that today anyway you can kind of see what we came up with uh thanks again for checking us out pwc brackets we're not trying to sell you guys anything you don't need we just try to provide the facts you saw that the test was very open, very uh, non-biased. I will tell you that the JBL does not sound bad if you want to spend $189. Um, but, you know, obviously we hope you give us a try because ours are proven to be louder. And, uh, you know, we're a small business. Thanks again. Ride safe, ride loud. We hope to see you on the water. Okay, soon. first of all, I want to thank everybody for watching the video. I know it got a little lengthy there, but we were trying to do our best to make sure that everybody saw everything that we were doing. Uh, in conclusion, all of these speakers sound great. The JBL is a good sounding speaker, so if you currently have one use it uh there's no right or wrong here guys so you know we just provide the speakers and we do all the testing so you guys don't have to i mean you guys want to go out and buy jbo ue mega booms sound all these different other speakers we're buying these speakers i pay for these i ordered that speaker uh i'll probably never use it i'll give it away as a gift uh but basically this is um you know just us doing all the testing for you guys and in conclusion again they all sound great just mine is a little bit louder, and that's really what it comes down to. They all have their different sounds. Uh, the Soundwave 60 Watt 1 is a little bit more robust. The Soundwave 2 has a little bit more mids and highs. The Soundwave 3 is like a combination of all of them. So, uh, and the JBO, it sounded good. The, I would compare the JBO closer to my new Soundwave, um, but really the reason why we went with the new Soundwave, guys, even though it didn't re register as many decibels, and it is 60 watts, it's a little, little bit thinner speaker, so it just doesn't carry the sound as much as the big casing in the 50 watt uh, the other reason why is it's the, about the footprint of the 60 watt the 60 watt is really more of that double up sound system and that's really what we're going for is that double up sound and you're getting a lot more volume with that so that was really why we went with that I just wanted to touch on that real quick and again guys they're all great we just thank you guys for purchasing products from us purchasing brackets and you know and basically uh, using us as your um, you know as your sound option for your jet ski uh, and uh, uh, that's it. We keep it as simple as possible and we do all the testing so you don't have to. Ride safe, ride loud. We hope to see you guys on the water.